Hello. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality purposes. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hello. 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 I know a guy who used to collect hellos. Hello. Hello. Call someone up. And they'd say hello. And that's uh, all they'd have to hear. Hello? He just recorded hellos. Hello? Hello? And all kinds of hellos. Hello? Some hi. Hi. Some hi. Who is it? Hi. Leave a message. Hello. Hello. I could thank you. Hello. Inside my brain, where fantasies play hide and seek. Essentially, my little selves go giddy glad with sudden kinds of going mad that lift me up and let me slip beyond the stiff of upper lip. Or even now, in what I call my only hope, so tiny, small, no microscope would even try to get inside to magnify that inner place where shadows play my sunshine game of hideaway. this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into... Tiny <laughs> House Fly. Ah, 
Ah, yes. Ah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. There, I sound better. Hey, welcome, welcome. Here you are back in the tiny house live with your professor here once again. Hi, I'm telling you, in the hills of Petacosia, way up there. Sometimes we need oxygen, so much so. Let me pull my reverb back because it's like too much oxygen. There we go. So glad to have you here with me. So, so glad. So many magical things have been happening so many in, in, just in the past week or two. I can't believe it. Projects coming my way. I'm feeling that life is starting to lift up and new opportunities are starting to engage themselves. I'm loving it. People bringing me projects. How can I not love that? Um, and I'm going back uh, in, in, in not only the past, trying to bring some of that forward, but looking for new things as well, which is why I do this show. And let me start right there by telling you, uh, there's two reasons I, I do Tiny House Live. And then we'll get into some real business because I have some business at hand and I hope you're ready for this tonight I hope you got I hope you got on your rock and shoes hope you got on your rock and shoes because we've got we got some classic stuff but before I tell you that I want to tell you there's two reasons I even do this number one it's better for everybody if I'm kept busy that's that's the main reason it's just safer that way but on the other end of it all is I, I'm all in about I'm in about helping new artists break out get a new footing in a new what will be a new economy that I'm working on I have a lot of new artists coming in like Scott Laws next next Wednesday you know, we'll talk more about that later too. But I'm also into and really big into archiving the past. I mean, it, you know, it's, it, it's what made us who we are. And if you've lived in Sonoma County and have been involved in the music scene as long as I have in this county, that'd be 30, 30 years plus. Um, you know, you can't help but get just attached to the to the bands that you've you've mixed through the years. Whether it's been clubs like like Magnolias, which will fall into our realm tonight, and Studio Cafe, which I, I put together as well. And of course, the end of the beginning we tore that down and and uh, you know hey the river theater if you want to go way back and thank you Jerry and of course the mystic theater in the end of the beginning so for me I've had a long history in this county um, and I'm just really enjoying pulling people back out of my past who are you know talented legitimate people who've been doing this forever and a day who uh, you know we do what we do and we get what we get and so tonight what this is about is going back in time a little bit Sherman so I hope you have your way back machine set I mean you know I want you to set it way back Sherman because because, you know, for us, we're going to be dipping into some classics from the 77s, 78. We're going to touch back in there. I've got a couple. And, and we'll be bumping our way through the 80s, 90s, and who knows where we'll end up. But, yes, a very special night here tonight in Tiny House Live with your professor high in the hills of Petacosia. All right. That being said, that being said, let me check and see if the, their van is pulling up. Uh, I, I, I got a camera out in the parking lot. Let's see. I think that's them pulling in right now. It must be... Yeah, oh, there they are. Hey, they're here. They're in the house right now. All right. Hey, I've got two friends here. You know who they are? Because I do. I got Tony Stover there on your immediate right. And I've got Michael Whittington right there. Hey, Mick, right there on your left. And uh, man, we got... We, we've got stories to tell, we got talk to talk, we got walk to walk, and, and we got so much music to try to cover in what would be an hour plus show. No, then I'm not limited by time and space. So let me, uh, let me at least bring you into the picture here. Say hello to everybody, would you please? Howdy do. Howdy do. Hello, Mike Whittington. There you go. There you go. Are you sure? Is everybody legitimate? You want to um, check your driver's I'm, licenses? I'm here. I'm here. He is here. We're all here. High in the hills of Pentecostia. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Uh, you know, God, I don't know where to even start this because we, we've had, you know, Tony and I have had so much history together through through the years. Matter of fact, maybe maybe uh, let me pull out my let me pull out a little thing I had here set up for this for this occasion because I thought to myself maybe we should do like a little uh, a, a little quiz to see. Everybody, you know what I want you to do. What I want you to do when I want to name off a bunch of bands who played in Sonoma County through the years, and we're talking 20 into 30 years ago, and just raise your hand if you were in this band. That's all you have to do. We will comment on all this later. We'll put continuity. We'll put it all together, and uh, and, and and it'll all make sense. Matter of fact, maybe maybe before I do that, let me do this because it'll actually help if I bring my own my own image into it as I pull off my extra engineer guy over here, my left brain pulling in my right brain so we can all have the same conversation at the same time. Here he is. Oh, there he ah, is. There you go. I have landed. I have landed now in my tiny house with my guests. Right there. Tony Stover, Mick Whittington with me. I was going to ask you, now raise your hand if you were in this band. Impressor. Expressors? 
Oh, I, I, yes, I'm sorry. Expressor. What did I say? Impressor? Yeah. See? Yeah, you, was... you, so you weren't in Impressor. Well, that call, was a, yeah. I started on a trick <laughs> question just to make sure that you, were, right. that you were, were up the same speed. Yeah. All was... right. Expressor. That would be you. Stallion. Stallion. Mm -hmm. Really? Phaser. Yeah. Phaser. All right. All right. We're moving along. Electric toys. Well, we know this one. Yep. Uh, strikes twice. Yep. Wow. See, I had that marked with a question mark. You see, I'm going to learn stuff tonight, too. The scam. Yep. Well, you're going to be in all these, aren't you? Uh, all right. The defectors. Yep. Yeah, I knew that one, too. Hang on a second. Tony Lonely, no way. Who's that guy? Who is that guy? Your trick question. $27 snap on face. Nope. I knew that. I, I know that. that guy. Which guy? David. Petri. David Petri. Damn right, man. He's out there tonight. He wants to be hearing this. If not, he'll laugh about it later. Yep. Out of the blue. Yeah. All right, all I right. I sound for you guys. <laughs> you so, did sound too? Yeah, for them. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll we talk about it another time. <laughs> bang Theory. Yeah. You're both in Bang Theory? I had question marks in that one, so I was wrong twice. Yeah, Because right. I, I wasn't really sure. Yeah. That's yeah. why I made notes to myself. Boys Night Out. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee Ryan Band. Come on, we know that one too. X. Oh, that'd be just you over there, man. That's probably the only solo one I'm going to get tonight. <laughs> 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 Not really. I, I got Crossfire. I wasn't in Crossfire. Oh, you weren't in Crossfire. They were just an influence. Can I explain Crossfire to you? No, let's hang on to that for a okay. second. Because because we, we do have to be continued. We do have a Crossfire piece. Yes. Oh heard. my God. The folks, the stuff that we tonight we're going to be delivering in this. Hang on. So be with us. You we gotta love it. All right. Hang on. I got more because evidently these guys are in every band that was in Sonoma County for the last thirty years. Well, he was. Oh, he was Romeo Jones. Mm -hmm. God, there you go, man. American Drag. No, no, you weren't. It sounds like See, somebody would be in, though. <laughs> I, have, I have personal connection. <laughs> I have a personal connection and love for, for all the guys, Monroe and, and, right. and, and, and Jason. And it goes down the whole list of everybody. So I have something I later on I'll play. So I knew that as well. Bang Theory. Yeah. Both right. of you. See, that's awesome. Did, that uh, I, did we? Yeah, I think so. Then, oh, I did, didn't I? Oh, I had a, Okay, that's right. No, Strikes right. twice. Yep. Yep, there you go. Hidden Pictures. Yep. God, I mean, you're a busy guy. Broken Ties. Nope. No, I knew that too. Harry Gale. Yes. We're going to bring him in too. I, I like I got, Harry. He's a good I, guy. Yeah, Harry is the Zen Meister of recording in our county as yes, far as I'm concerned. You know, he's the master. And so we've got we've got a Broken Ties piece later on. Count on it. Uh, Euphoria. Yeah. Peaky Chappelle. Where is he? He's where, out there. Where is Peaky? Peaky? I've heard that name a few times today. At some point, he's going to hear this back and he's going to hear us all Hi, going, Peaky. Peaky, pull your radar in over here in the Tiny House Live. We'll help you figure it out at your Google account. All right. Uh, Walking Eve. Waking Eve. Waking. I had Walking. No, I'm sorry. You're wrong. Walking Eve's a better Walking name. Eve. Oh, no. <laughs> I was in you know, Waking Eve. You were in Waking Eve. Well, that would be a no. That would be a no. All right. Anyway, I think I think just like Perry Mason in one of those law things where you've asked his client to prove their 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 value, you, you know, guilty. yes, yes, you are guilty as charged. And, and Mick, you are equally guilty as charged. Uh, you you continue to put out great work with the Pulsators up to this date. and, and uh, 30 years now. 30 years with Johnny and the Boys. Oh my Scooter God. Scooter and the Cats. That's awesome. I, I love it. I, you know, I love the band. How can yep. you not? How yep. can you not? How can you Doug not? McKenzie. Doug <laughs> McKenzie. Yeah, yeah. Well, I only wish I had something to preview, and we're going to dive off into a bunch of stuff, but I I, I know they have a new uh, a new album coming out, so without, with, you know, tell me just a little bit. Just a little tease us with a little bit of, of what of what this is going to be. Is it? You know? well, well, most of the work's been done during this pandemic. Right. And, uh, it's sounding pretty good. I mean, I've heard a bit of it. I mean, yeah. all my parts are done. We did a few vocals. I think there's good. a little bit of keyboard left to do. John Foray. Ah. And, um, and it sounds great. I can't wait for it. Well, you play a little bit off your iPhone, and I tried to lean my ear into yeah, it. Yeah, so it's gotta, hard I listening to it. Well, you know, it is, it is. But I do want to hear yeah. uh, some some real stuff back because yeah, I'd love to preview it in here. I'll get I'll get Johnny back in. Johnny's been a you know a, a, a classmate here in, in, a, yeah. in a tiny house live in the Professor. So that's 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 fun. Yeah. Uh, any release date before we move on? Hmm? Any release date for it? Not really. I don't know. Okay, it's uh, we're in the process of uh, getting it. Mastered the and then together. pressed, there you go. and that takes a little time, and it, it, it'll be here soon. Yeah, it'll yeah. be here soon, folks. <laughs> We're still over here. I'm on this camera right now. Oh, well, never mind. We'll get to them later. <laughs> we got a few around. We got a few around you tonight. Cameras everywhere. Uh, and you, 
Mr. Stover. My God, I, when I, you know, I, we go back a long ways. And, and, and when I look at the list of the bands that, that we just read off, I just read off, I, I think I've mixed at least three quarters of them, if not more than that, Probably. honestly. Probably. Uh, and, and, and enjoyed every one of them. I, I just always appreciated your, your, your songwriting still skills. And I went, when I was going back and putting all this together for this show, and, and know that I had to do a lot to put this together, I had to uh, go back and remaster a lot of audio tracks from a lot of era of music the video wasn't even considered yet mm -hmm. you know uh, and, and and try to do the best I could so I want to break a few rules tonight and play some things in here tonight that typically I kind of might not but at the same time uh, how can I not this is our Sonoma County history and really that's where that's where a lot of this is from for me is going backwards so that's why I'm so glad to have you in here and I felt like I've been baiting the hook for like the last year to, to, to reel you in going mm -hmm. I know we got to talk man there's there's so much stuff that we can do and and uh and so, really, I mean, where do we start in this? Do we? How about how about we go all the way back to what 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 I call the uh, expressor and tell me about impressor? Was that your first uh, uh, expressor? Did I do it again? Yeah, I it was, did it again. It, right, right. it was a band we started in 1972 and 73. Oh, there, twelve. Wow. And uh, twelve, yeah. Yeah, we played Creedence Clearwater awesome. and uh, uh, a lot of ventures and some of my originals even then at twelve years old. Um, my friend Jimmy Doan played guitar and right. Jerry Roach played drums and so it was fun we played and there was another a second incarnation of it about two years later but after that there was that, that was the end of that phase. <laughs> 12 years old that's, that's, an, that's early an early start. start that is an early start yeah yeah I got some yeah. pictures of of us at about 14 years old and, <laughs> yeah. we, we got some photos that'll run by on a couple songs that'll be coming up this evening because we're going to dip into a lot of music here in just a few minutes mm -hmm. we're just setting the stage for for a, a little continuity before we blast off into this and and uh, there's a lot of photos connected to a lot of the uh the, the audio tracks mm -hmm. that i've gathered through through you through whether it was the uh you know tony lonely band but but for the moment let's let's shine a light on on something else because there, there was something else really on our minds that was mm -hmm. kind of a key point even why we even started conversating about this if that's a real word yeah. uh, uh, about this and that would be uh, the passing of, of Phil Holden and what can we do and what can we say and, and uh, you know uh, we talked yeah. and, and, and we thought let's let's let's, yeah. let's do something here you yeah. know yeah, yeah. yeah. Phil, Phil was a big influence on me, uh, me too. and and Mike uh, yep. um, Phil when I first met him he was in a band called teaser which yeah. was the precursor to electric toys and yeah. it was with David Payne and Bob Bernhardt and they were they were kind of developing original music and they were doing some originals and some covers and then uh, I didn't talk to Dave for a few years after that um, he ended up going with Stark Raving Mad to LA and almost got a record deal and uh, came back and then when he came back from LA, Phil and him reconnected and started Electric Toys. Uh huh. And they did a, a three song demo at uh, Gary Peel's studio in Petaluma. Oh. And that's the first demo they did, and they gave me that demo. And that was my audition tape. Wow. Well, and what year was this, roughly? 79. 79. Good for you. Maybe we're 78. I, 78 right. and 79 right in there. That's kind of yeah. where we're starting off today. 79, is, yeah. is the late 70s. So, and I've got some other examples over here in Video World we'll put together, too. But, yeah, that's... That's but Phil. Phil taught me everything. Yeah. I mean, he was a great songwriter, great singer. Great guitar player. Great guitar player. Really good guitar player. A songwriter. And I just... I realized at that age, you know, I was, I was only... 19 yeah and dave was 18 and the, the songs they were writing were just far beyond any thing i'd ever band i'd ever played in and, it, you know it's pretty eclectic i mean in reviewing all the stuff putting it together I'm, I, as an audio engineer i'm hearing all kinds of references to what audio engineers do mm -hmm. and i'm going man i hear rush man i, I hear the who i'm, I'm hearing i'm a hearing of, some a lot of who yeah, influence there's a lot of who yeah. influence i could hear it you know and i gotta appreciate that you know and it wasn't like you're taking some of these ideas as you could tell it was an influence you know yeah and, gotta give the kudos to dave payne yeah. david, david payne is a great bass player and he did help Phil write a lot of those really good songs. Yeah. And I wanted to give Dave a real big thumbs up for being 
a great player. I'm glad you did. We've connected on Facebook, so I, he's aware of the show tonight. I'm hoping he's tuned in. He might have. We'll, we'll have to check and see at some point. Hi, Dave. <laughs> hi, Dave. We can say hi. And you know what? The, the amazing thing I'm finding is this will swap over for me from Facebook to YouTube is I, I don't have as many people in the moment with me, but afterwards, and they're just, my life is just it's huge, and it's getting such much so much more coverage internationally, actually, uh, that, that I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. So it, for me, it's more having this conversation than that conversation uh, and anyway. Uh, we, we got off the track with Phil because we're, we're going to play it. We're going to play an uh, electric toys piece. Why don't mm-hmm. you set it up? This is uh, Yeah, so some of the pictures that go along with this song uh, were with Dave while he was with Phil in the teaser days, and then it transitions into... Uh, the electric toy is when I joined the band, and uh, you'll see. Yeah, let's do that. Let's some do cool that. pictures. Let's there. get this started. And we got we got a long way to go here tonight, folks. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. This is your life. Don't leave the set. This is going to be terrific. That may happen tonight, by the way. He stepped on. <laughs> I didn't step on anything. No, it's just like, you know, we're going to play a lot of stuff tonight that's like rough cut, and it's going to come quick. And uh, 
and we're having a good time at the same time. So me and the guys here. All right, hang on a second. Hang on a second here. Let me let me bring everybody back in. And that's half the fun tonight for us is we're, we we we've got we've got three old friends who haven't seen each other in the longest time. And, uh, and, and, uh, and one engineer who's doing everything he can to give everybody everything they need, and it's all good. I'm bringing my picture back in here. And, uh, you know, that was, that was a great place to start off, we I felt those, like. We, are, are we on? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you are. Oh. We were loving those photos. <laughs> uh, they were great. <laughs> well, that's, no, that's the We can't hear ourselves in the headphones. On. There you go. Yeah, we're up. Okay. We aren't. We aren't. Hello, hello. There you oh, we are. are. There, there, you are. Are. there we go. It's different. We'll get our groove on. We'll get our groove on. Once we, because uh, we have, once again, we have a long way to go. That was a good start. Yeah, we got Phil. <clears throat> Phil's a great songwriter, and you could tell even with that first song. I know. Um, yeah, he just wrote some great songs. Kind of who influenced? I very, thought that one very, was. Yeah, yeah very, particularly very yeah. like. Uh, who influenced yeah. <laughs> John Paul Jones in the bass? I heard you know that's John Entwistle. John you. Entwistle. I said, God, what I said, John Paul. I, so at that time, famous. I felt pretty lucky to join that band because they were yeah. yeah quite a quite a thing. <laughs> True. Well, you know, you've created quite a few things. I mean, we can go down. Once, there's a whole lot of things we can come up, and we will be playing tonight. But I, I want to kind of like maybe start off with a little bit of the Tony Lonely Band, where you kind of concentrated on. We're going to dip back into a couple electric toy songs along the way through the evening. It's kind of the uh, the touching stone for us okay. this evening. Good, and, and so we'll get back because you know we've definitely got a few more things to bring back in with some more photos and some other songs with electric toys, which some of the best recorded material we have, mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. except for two lonely Tony Lonely uh, videos that I I found on on a, <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a TV station in Chico, right? Am mm -hmm. I right? Yeah? Chico, Chico, that happened. Say it. I won't say it. <laughs> 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 This is where I get to play. This is your life. <laughs> yeah, it was. Like, <laughs> well, there's some good stuff there, man, and, and that's that's what that's what I found right here. So, well, maybe maybe I need to, I need to, to start it off by dipping into the Tony Lonely Band, and uh, and uh, and this is kind of like a cumulative factor for you, right? I mean, after years of all these other bands, it's centered down to. Yeah, it was my first uh, solo. Yeah. Or my first. Uh, yeah. Front man job in a band. Well, I remember. When I met Tony maybe a couple years earlier, back yeah, when, when you were an ex. Yeah. Well, I think we, yeah. Yeah, we met each other, and um, he was playing me these demo tapes he had, and I was just blown away by this guy's songwriting. And uh, I remember when we were sitting in that camper, and you had that little Wurlitzer, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you were playing Out of Town, mm -hmm. and I went, oh my God, what a great <laughs> song, Out of Town. And... Uh, We've got this band together. We were only together about a year, weren't we? Yeah. Literally one year. Yeah, but uh, but we crammed a lot in that year. Well, yeah. the, the cool the coolest part about that is uh, we we recorded a song called Dangerous right Dangerous. at the beginning, and it got on the Sonoma Gold soundtrack album. Yeah, so I, I have that I have that queued here for KVR, us too. So that's it was KVR, KVRE at the time. Oh God, was. really? And Bill Backer played it. Yeah, absolutely. And we had the first song on side two called Dangerous and. And uh, so they played it a lot, and from our first gig, every gig was sold out. Yeah. Was How long like... ago was that rally for Alley? About five or six years uh, ago? That's about five years ago. We reunited for a, a benefit and played those songs mm -hmm. at the Mystic. Awesome. Love that place. I had friends come up to me. <laughs> been there? I've been there. We hadn't, we hadn't played in 40 years. We had Ron Montgomery, the original drummer, Tony, myself. And Darren Thompson mm -hmm. filled in for Dennis. Dennis Hewitt, who couldn't do the gig. Dennis was the original guitar player. Yes, he was. And we did this benefit for uh, Allison Page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and, remember that um, too. And we got together and we did some old Tony Lonely songs, and it, it was really great. Well, it was just magic. Be, just because you mentioned it, and you mentioned Dangerous, just like that, I have it queued up. So just like that. So let's start off. Let's start off with a, a, a something that centers more around the Tony Lonely band, yeah. and uh, and uh, and and bring this to, to focus, and we'll come back. This is your life.
that guy? What a handsome fellow. What's his name? I wish I still had that face. I wish I still had that folks <laughs> oh boy a boy in his dreams oh, come on that's as good as gold man that's yeah. as good as gold that's, right there come on tony lonely what year is that 82 82 god i'm getting older every moment 82 and 50 pounds ago mm -hmm. <laughs> hey you're looking good we're all looking good here we are in a tiny house still breathing we're still breathing we all fit in here yep that's right. That's right. So good to have you guys with me. Tony Stover, Michael Whittington, Mick. Yeah. Right, right there with us. Right there with us. Enjoying an evening of a... You like, did you like the dinner tonight? Was that a good oh, yeah. thing? Oh, oh, a little tortellini, chicken tortellini. Chicken, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah good. Yeah. Good. I didn't even kick the habanero tonight. I took it easy on you. You know? Oh. <laughs> oh, I could have. I could have spiked. Are you a habanero guy? Can you yeah. kick it? Can you kick it? Not now, but yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too late now. Too late. How about you, Tony? Are you a habanero guy? I, I love, I like spicy stuff. All right, stuff, man. Yeah. Well, next time, next time you get it. Next okay. time you get it. Next. Okay. Hey, that was great. And I have another one. You know, maybe, maybe we should, I think maybe we should just back to back. Let's just do another Tony Lonely right there. Right. Why not? Let's do that. Because we got we got a bunch of stuff lined up, and then we'll come back. We'll re reorganize a little bit. Did anybody say I need another shot of agave? I think I did. You go for it. We're good here. You with me? I think I'll wait. I'll watch you. You watch me. <laughs> you watch me. I'll show you how it's done. That a boy. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> No, I, I can't help but bring one more to you and and enjoy this, folks. And this is this is a oh my God, Tony. What, what song is this? Was this Dangerous? Radio Tonight? Radio. Radio. There you go. 
for you guys right here, man. This is the County stuff, you know. Tony? Those are catchy pop tunes, Tony. How in the hell did you write all those things? I don't like know. I, what were you thinking? He had a I, writing I, spurt. I wrote, I wrote that, that last song, uh, Radio Tonight, when I was 20. 20? I wrote it when I was 20 and recorded it. Uh, I got a tax return when I turned 21. Yeah. And went down to San Rafael and recorded that with a, a guy named Kevin Mathis playing bass and Joey Aquilo playing drums. Wow. And we did that and another song called Songs on the Telephone. Um, we won't show that video, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> that's such a, I just mentioned uh, to make as you walked out, that such a, was such a on-trend song. I mean, it was like right at where we were. That song kind of was like... Mm-hmm. It was perfect. It was perfect for that time and place. Mm-hmm. And you could, you could, you know, I, yeah. You know, New Randy, wave. Randy, we, we, in that one year we were together, we, we played a, a number of really good shows and good gigs and uh, well-received. Everywhere we went, it was the perfect time. A lot of you know, Eric, Eric yeah. Martin shows too. We, yeah, yeah, we, we we did some. Yeah, yeah, you got to mention Eric Martin. And Bonnie in there. Hayes and the Wild. Bonnie Wildcom, Hayes, of course. And a band called the Squares. Are you familiar with the Squares? Don't remember the Squares? No. Have you ever heard of a cat named Joe Satriani? <laughs> yeah. He was a guitar player in that band. Really? Well, yeah. well I got to start somewhere. And they were good. They were wow, really I good. bet they were. I mean, he he didn't start no slouch, I'm but, sure. But, but all those guys in the squares. What was his drummer's name in the squares? We, we used to Jeff something. Jeff Campitelli. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. They, those guys, Andy, the bass player, and he Jeff. He passed away, by the way. Oh, he did. Rest I didn't in know peace, that. Andy. Yeah. Well, they used to, when we were opening some shows at the Katati Cabaret, they used to uh, come up and watch us on the yeah. edge of the stage. Oh, uh, uh, the Katati Cabaret. I'm sorry, I was reminiscing for a second. Ah. I had my Hoffner at the time, and, and Andy just was drooling all over that thing. Mm-hmm. He goes, oh, I want this space. I go, well, you can't have it. I'm saving it for somebody else. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, and, and while the squares were doing their gigs, uh, Joe was teaching guitar in Berkeley. Yeah. And he said if I really? wanted to take guitar lessons, I could go down there and he has room for one more student. Wow. And I always regretted not Oh, going. you didn't do it? No. Oh, man, can you do imagine? Do you know some of his students that went on to become quite uh, famous? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet. One of them played Kirk, in Kirk town. Hammett. Yeah. And, um... Steve Vai. Steve Vai. Yeah, Stevie Vai. They were students of Joe's. Yeah. Go off to play with Zappa. How long, How bad is that, huh? Jeez, Stevie yeah. Vai. Yeah. Oh, Joe, Stevie Joe's Vai. a nice guy. He's Sucks around he. Really Jeez. good guy. Yeah. No kidding. Hey, you know what we need to do? We need we need to uh, say hello to some people out there viewing with us. Oh, what we got? Let's bring them into the conversation here. Let me, let me turn around here for a second. Oh, my gosh. There we go. And let's go back and check because there have been a lot of people checking in. So, Sweet. you know, we're, we're having our own little world over here, but we ought to bring you into it. Darn right we are. All right, here we go. Well, Peaky Chappelle, number one. Oh, no kidding. Yes, no kidding. Peaky, <laughs> Hi, Peaky. Peaky. Peaky found his Peaky. way, and Peaky, we are now over in your world right here while we spend a couple minutes and, and, and with just you guys uh, in, in, in front of us, and then we'll go back and, and uh, continue on with our, our history lesson here from the professor tonight. All right, let's 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 back up here a little bit. Last, lastly, let's say hi to Mike Olson, who's checked in. William Butler, he's out there. Peaky Chappelle, what, what, what did Again? Peaky say? There you go. <laughs> Miles Olson. Okay, wait, Is that hold it. Miles on. Olson. Yes, Miles Olson. Oh, okay. Yeah, it said he. It would be cool if Matt Carpenter was here with John Kirkman. Too uh, bad. I'm uh, sure. Too bad. I'm sure. I'm sure you had the, the, the retort bad. to that more than I did. I didn't have a good retort to that. I'm clueless. I'm with you. I'm clueless. Hey, but T- Peaky Chappelle says I want to give Tony a comment on how Euphoria changed his musical inspiration. We haven't got to and how yet. change and changed his songwriting with Peaky. So how did Peaky affect your songwriting uh, well, skills? Well, you know, up to then I'd been writing pop songs, and then Peaky and I kind of. And Kerry Garloff, which, rest in peace, he's gone now. Uh, we kind of got real experimental and uh, did some really out there recordings. And Peaky, we just pushed the boundaries, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of expanded my musical repertoire playing with Peaky and Kerry. Good stuff, good stuff. I can see why. I can see why. You know what? Maybe it's one of these golden opportunities we should just take in this show to, to throw a euphoria piece up. What do you think? Sure. Let me let me see where I've where I've hidden it. It's gonna I be a surprise it, to me. You know, Peaky. I know. I know. This is for you, Peaky. Hang on. I know it's here. Where is it? Oh my god, there it is. Oh my goodness. This is for you, Peaky, because you've checked in, you found your way to us. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Ah, it took me a second to pull this one out of the bag, but there it comes. Euphoria.
Hello, hello, hello. That was some good bass playing, man. Peaky, yes, man. He's the man. He's the man. That boy can play. Good, good inspiration there. Glad, yeah. glad you tuned in in time to hear it. Peaky was so good. Uh, guys in Jellyfish wanted him to join the band. Right oh, before really? They got a, wow. Before oh, what a combination. Got... If I was stranded on a desert island with only three albums, two of them would be de would be Jellyfish. Well, they only had spilt two milk, albums. Spilt Milk and Belly Button. Yep. And Peaky could have had that gig. Could have had that gig? Wait, wait, what? Say it again. Peaky could have had that gig. Peaky. What happened? Peaky's clapping. Uh, you'll have to... Uh, what happened? Uh, his girlfriend talked, uh, <laughs> talked him out of it. Oh, no. His girlfriend talked him out of it? What a dick. Come on, <laughs> Come on now. You're live. <laughs> uh, he knows it. He regrets it. <laughs> He's clapping right now. I think he just loved it. We just did for him. So, uh, Peaky's in Montreal, Canada, by the way. If you haven't thought, we've, we've traveled far enough already this evening on Tiny House Live. Yes, we are live in wow. Montreal, Canada. Good player. Montreal, Canada. I don't know why, where that comes <laughs> Peaky. from. Peaky. Peaky, that was for you. That was for you. He's 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 all over the place. Good to have you here. All right. Hey, wait a minute. Let me re record myself. Do we need to say anybody back here? We have a lot of people wanting to check in. I, I wish I could. The badass band, people are saying. Thank you so much for that. Yes, we're going to play a bunch of badass bands tonight. William Butler says, love this band. Sounds great. Which love one? I, I, you know, I think it was, it was probably the, the last foray we just threw out there. The Tony so, Lonely Band. The Tony Lonely. Tony Lonely. Euphoria sounds yeah, good. Though. And there he is right there. You're lonely. You're not lonely, are you? You're a married man in residential Sonoma County. Mm -hmm. He's no lonely. Nah, he's not lonely. lonely. He's not lonely. He just writes love songs. Roger Rude. I don't know if it's the Roger Rude oh, I know. I know that I know, guy. I know Do you? Roger. He used to be a sheriff, and he is my he's former brother. He's married to Karen. Yep. Yes, well, this is family. Karen. This is family for me because Roger Rude was was married to 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 uh, <laughs> the whole Hanson clan that my wife is a part of. So yeah, wow, we're basically world. oh my yeah, she, goodness, she, she, my she goodness. married she married Roger, and before that she was married to a guy, a work guy, a workmate of mine. And my, yeah, yeah, my yeah, guy used to work at a limit. I, I got pulled over for a traffic ticket. And I mentioned his name. They just let me go. Ah, good. So thank you, wow, Roger Rude. Nice. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for checking in tonight. <laughs> Made me Tell laugh. Hey, Roger, tell Karen I said hi. Hi, Karen. Me Khan. too. Me too. I'd say see you next Thanksgiving, but I'm not doing that much anymore. All right. Hang We're on a second. We're getting off topic. <laughs> we are getting off topic. But you never know what's going to happen in Tiny House Tiny Live. House you Live. never you never know. We're all It's all one incestuous circle of Ooh. friends and family. Stop. Friends and family. Well, no, no, okay, now we've done a good job so far of covering the beginning. Uh, we, we've done a nice little tribute to, to Phil Holden. We've uh, kind of addressed the Tony Lone band and brought Tony Stouffer uh, to the forefront and we, there's a lot of further back history we'll be touching into as well we're kind of establishing the ground rules uh, of, of, and notice I'm not even looking at my clock I'm just you know it's, it's not about time and space tonight uh, what I'm doing is queuing up something over here because I think next I think next we need to dip into the the, the life and times of, of, of Mike Whittington is it Michael Michael Mick what do you really like um Officially, it's Michael. Yeah. Mick yeah. around here. I like word. I like one syllable names. Mick is good. Right, Johnny yeah. Campbell tagged me with that one. All right, John. He, it's good for, he for, goes. I always wanted to play in a band with a guy named Mick. <laughs> As I call him, Lop. Great. Great. <laughs> okay, I gotta tell you. All we're, right. gonna back, we're gonna back up a little bit here. All right, all right. And, and shall I tell so you what I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back to Phil Holden here for a minute. All right, all right. My connection to Phil Holden, I was in a band called X, E X X E, back in the mid to late 70s, early 80s. And um, Phil, we'd met Phil when we played in Santa Rosa for the first time. And um, at, a, at battle of the battle, battle of the bands, yeah, but the bands. And then somehow along the way, David and Phil was trying to get Jim and me to play, put a band together, which eventually became the Electric Toys. So we had like two or three rehearsals with David and Phil and Jim and I. Jim Lang, rest in peace. And um, Phil wanted me to play guitar. I can play guitar pretty good. I'm, I'm an acoustic guitar player. I can't play electric guitar for nothing. So we had about three rehearsals, and Jim and I looked at each other and goes, nah, this ain't going to work. So we went back to X. <laughs> X was still going pretty good then, so we just kind of went it on the side and did it. 
There you go. That's my connection to Phil Holden. Real good one. Now, on that note, would you like me to play since it's out of the pocket? I can play an X for you right now. Let's do that. We can do that. Then we'll come Mark. back and we'll carry on. Okay. I th- you mentioned it. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm taking. I'm, I'm you taking sure the. You don't cue. want to go back a little further about it, Sonoma County influences or anything? Yeah, you got it. I got to go do, further back. Got to go to cross. All right, Sherman. Set the way back machine. We're going further back. Okay. Right? We're, we're up. We're we're all over the place tonight, folks. <laughs> anyway, I love it. My. <laughs> Earliest connection to Sonoma County music was a band called Crossfire. Ah, uh, yes. And Jim Lang, the aforementioned, and I loved those guys. We would follow them everywhere to go see them. We were like 15 and 16 years old, and we would just go, and they'd, we'd be in awe of this band. They were just like complete rock stars to us. And they came over and played Napa a few times. They did a gig at the fairgrounds with Elixir and the, and Crossfire and the Tubes. I think it was the Tubes' first actual tour. They Tell were really? they played at the Napa County well, Fairgrounds. Tell them who was in the band. God, I love the Tubes. Mm-hmm. Tell them who was in the band. Who? Uh, Crossfire. Crossfire. Well, Gary Peel, Mitchell Froome, oh. David Froome, I think his name is mm-hmm. his brother, uh, the bass player. The bass player's name and the drummer's name escapes me. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were just, I mean, two 16 year old up and coming wannabe musicians yeah. at the time. Total rock gods. Well, Mitch, Crossfire. Mitchell Froome, number one. Well, Mitchell Froome, he went on to become something amazing, yeah. you know, but the at monster. the time, you know, him and his brother and Gary yeah. in the middle, yeah. that outstanding bass player, I don't know why I can't remember his name. Great guy. Yeah. Just that blew us off the map. Yeah. And uh, I think we have a little crossfire music. We do. We could do that. Play. And I'm actually getting a lot of call over here from X. And I just saw David Payne just checked in over here, too, as I'm looking All over right. my shoulder. So a lot of people checking in tonight. And, fantastic. And, you know, absolutely fantastic. Well, anyway, getting back to the, the initial crossfire? point was crossfire was my earliest Sonoma County musical influence. Well, that, that was like 1973. Well, that means number one that, that that this this is this is your life, Michael Whittington. I hope you. This is your life. Sonoma State. It was a, it was a, like a two-day concert event at Sonoma State. What year again? Oh God, it had to be '74, maybe. That's these black and white photos were taken at this. Oh, there it is, Sonoma County Fair. <laughs> Mitchell Frim over there on the B3 and the string ensemble. God, I wish I could remember that drummer's name. Maybe somebody will help us out there. I hope so too. I know Martha, her partner at 
He cuts my hair. <laughs> she used to be married to that guy. Mitchell Prim on the keyboards again there. Mitchell Prim, I just heard him on an Elvis Costello record today. Uh, his brother David in the right corner. I think Donovan Stark was at this gig. This one right here. Come back to this? Yeah. Anyway, uh. Like that? Yes. Fade out if you want, it's just gonna fade. Yeah. Oh. That singer. That sounds a little like Getty Lee, doesn't he? Very rush. Anyway, major influences, these guys. <laughs> I just thought of something. Hey, hey. I just thought of something hilarious. What? I was at a. Hey, hey, we're gonna come okay. back. I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> the, the, I was in this band when I was a teenager, and I think the band was it was from Napa. It was called Topaz. It was just a bunch of kids. We all got together and played stuff. We actually played that last song. You just said we covered it. We covered a Sonoma <laughs> County band all song. All right. Yeah. Covered it. <laughs> yeah, we loved that band so much. We actually covered a Sonoma County band song. Yeah. Okay, that's neither here nor there. That's good. I'm still waiting on a Jellyfish cover band. Where are they? Maybe it's you. <laughs> Maybe it's you. What a thing. I, I, I that'd be a lot of work right there. A lot of work that'd be. I tried to get an audition for that band after Jeez. Jason Faulkner quit, and apparently Harry Gale did Harry. get an did get an audition. Did he really? Harry yeah. got an audition for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to talk he to him about that. He would have fit with those guys. Yeah. Well, he would have fit with those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and actually, so would a Peaky, wouldn't he? I think, I think maybe that really would have worked. I small mean, world. It's a small world. You know, I love introducing people together who I know could do amazing things. You yeah. know, that's half of a... When you're a sound engineer, too, you end up seeing all these talented pockets of people, and you go, God, if I could just take that guy and put him with that guy and have that drummer, we'd have a, a super group, you yeah. know? But they're like three different bands well, touring in three different dimensions I, I got, in the universe. I got another Peaky Jellyfish story. Oh, good. Uh... When Jellyfish got <laughs> sure he's enjoying when this. Jellyfish got signed, uh, Andy Sturmer, the lead singer drummer, broke up with his girlfriend Sarah. Oh, Sarah! Great song though. Uh, you know Sarah. Sarah. You know I know Sarah. Sarah very well. She smiles. Well, she dated Peaky. That's right. I forgot oh, about that. Right after that. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, the story my. gets more sordid as we go along. Oh, my. I know. I know. But small world. It's just, Why are you saying these once, things? Once again, the word no. Once again, the word incestuous comes up because nah, we, just, you know we're a family in this county. You know, like and everybody somehow is connected. We some are way. connected, and, that, and that's that's really kind of what this is about. As mm -hmm. I as I look back and look in. Well, that's wonderful, and that's special. Ain't it wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's yeah, talk about yeah, this. Look band. where we are now. Oh yeah. What oh, we that's need? right. We were segueing into X. We need to talk about X. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we're gonna play a couple surprises. Okay. I've got a couple surprises for us, but we're going to talk about X next. X was a hard rock band that I was in for about four years. We hailed from Napa, but we eventually made it over to Sonoma County. We played it's like 1980, I believe, at the Sonoma County Vets. And on the bill... The worst sounding room in Sonoma County. It was, but it was a fun day. <laughs> I'm sure of it. What was the name of that band you were in then? Electric Toys. <laughs> no, you were not in the Electric Toys oh, band. Oh, and that? That was the first one. That's where I'm, I saw you for the first time. Oh, that was just a one-off gig. Oh, okay. I don't, anyway, that's where I saw... <laughs> the Sons. First saw Tony. It was called The Sons. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, they weren't a few on bands list. on that bill, and I X played. And... Um, and the, the Sonoma County crowd just loved us, and we loved them. And uh, in fact, we even wrote a song about Sonoma County called Rock and Roll Neighborhood. 
We're not going to play that because there's no existing recording of it. But well, I do I have a crossfire. Do have I do a, have a crossfire lined up. No, this is X. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Sorry. Hello, McFly. Hey, hey, I'm juggling. <laughs> I'm juggling over here. All right. You're all right, Randy. I'm all right. Am I doing okay? We're back. On, you're doing all right. All right. We're a lot of material Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> 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 And I'm driving you home. Okay. <laughs> Be okay. nice to him. I am nice. No, no, no. no. I need you Just to Just ask me. Johnny Campbell hey. how nice I am. Trust me. I need somebody to keep me on track. All right. Anyway, back to X. Uh, I think My last gonna... three wives couldn't do it, but maybe, maybe you can. <laughs> I think we have an X track lined up. We here, do. I have we? it right here. That much I have ready. Henry oh, no. Hewitt on guitar, Jim Lang on drums, Mark Tate on vocals, and me on the bass. Awesome stuff. Thank you, Mike Barney. Ah, yeah, Mike Varney, that's right. Mike Varney produced. Turn it up, baby, turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah, I don't want to be honest. I'm gonna come back myself, just myself. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, my friends. Thank you, thank you. Let me get myself back here together. There we are. Good evening to you. Yes, we're carrying on. Yes, we are carrying on. And you're my tiny house live tonight. Certainly we are. And I want to tell you, having so much fun with with my friends here. Go, hey. Pilsner, by the way, tonight we are unofficially sponsored by 
Pilsner. And actually, as usual, the Hornitos Agave Plata with lime. Thank you, senor. And grandma's chili green sauce, which is something that we are enjoying right now. I'm going to do a quick little spot myself here and just preview a couple things coming up. What have I got next week? I've got, uh, I've got SR Laws coming in. A little singer-songwriter night. Some more Sonoma County talent sitting over here in my Studio K. And we're going to talk, uh, uh, you know, a little local music and hear some uh, guitar strumming and some singing songing as we do. But uh, tonight, man, I've just, I've just set my way back machine and, and, and I've kind of lost control. We, we've gone all the way back to 77. And because of that, because of that, I want to start off this little segment. And then we're going to get back with my, with my guests in here, with Tony Stouffer and Michael Whittington, Whittington right here with me. Uh, um, but I need to back up in history, and I think to do that, I'm going to dip back to a to a good friend of mine, and, a, and, a, and a, we'll say a, a client because we do work together. And actually, he was on my show, and, and just recently with David Petrie's uh, $27 snap on face. So I want to hit a little. I'm going to hit a little 77 history on you right now, and uh, and that's going to be really kind of fun. And we'll come back. We'll gather ourselves together, and and uh, yeah, I've even got like some broken ties. So hang on, Harry Gale. But right now. Now, yep, $27 snap on face just because why? Because I can, David. Because I can.
Hello. Hello. My goodness. We're having fun tonight, right? We are having fun tonight. Let me get myself back in here. Yes, my friends, David Petchy right there, $27 snap on face. One of the best names for a band in the county that I recall. It just, it just sticks, yep. you know. Yep. Good. I, remember, I remember his song "Tie Your Boots Tight, Buddy." <laughs> Tie your boots tight, buddy. Yeah. Was that was that really a twenty-seven dollar song? Twenty-seven dollar song. We'll, we'll see if David I, chimes in on that one. I'd love to know the original. I, I saw him do that at uh, at a yeah. Stark Raven Mad Gig at Sebastopol Vets Building. <laughs> it was quite a, quite an impression. <laughs> David. Oh, David, David. Well, we just released his new video in here. Yeah. Uh, I saw uh, that. Uh, yeah. Did you like? Did you like it what I did with it? Really wild. I put, I, well. I, David brought me a video real quick to, to put together, but it was all shot with one camera at Spanky's, and, and there was no way I could match the audio, which was redone by Harry Gale. Yeah. And there was, the timing was different. I couldn't make them match up. So I took the entire backtrack of the band when they were playing at Spanky's and put it into a blender and made it spin in circles and, and just kind of pulled in David in the middle with a green screen. Yeah, that's where you're asking about some of the color oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I used wow. a lot of, yeah. Yeah. And it worked out really well. You know, it's, it's totally a. It's totally him and it's totally me. So we, we got a video out of it that just represents both of what we do. So so what band are we at now? I don't know. Where are we going now, Sherman? I've set my way back machine. and There's a whole bunch of bands that Mike, I know there Mike are. and I played together. And after that, I know. We, 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 we can talk about those. Um, well, let me tell you what I've got here Lee in front Ryan of me. Lee Ryan Band, for instance. We can talk about I don't have a video for Lee or audio, There's but no we can Lee. talk you about Lee. I have a picture or two we sent over to it. you. Nope, sorry. Sorry, it wasn't in the lot mm -hmm. that I... I thought, uh, I thought I'd get one. Okay. Oh, well. No, no, I don't. Lee Ryan Band, that was an experience. Yeah, it was a cover band. The original lineup was Lou A. Rodriguez on drums, Tony Guitar, Mia Bass, and Lee Ryan Guitar, guitar. and Vocal. And I play keys. All cover songs. And guitars and keys. All cover songs. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun. Oh, no, no. We, we, we started off doing, like... Eight originals. We did two originals per set. Still, I don't remember. Still, that. you? Yeah, we did. I remember doing uh, a Huey Lewis song called Jacob's Ladder, which I really liked. That mm -hmm. was a good song. And we did a really outstanding version of Help by the Beatles. And what was that other Beatles song we did? Tell Me Why. Was that it? I I can't remember. I think it was Tell Me Why. <laughs> but we nailed it with the harmonies, and it was fun. Uh, the, yeah. the, the cover band's kind of... Cover slip, bands are slip like, away from my memory. Yeah, you did they a few are. of those. Let me tell you about Lee Ryan too. <laughs> Tony left, and Lou A left, and we got Danny Mavlin on guitar, and uh, Gigi Gunaway, who's like this major recording drummer. Played somehow, with he played well, with he, Whitney Houston. Well, he also played with Eric Martin, who knows yeah, right, Danny, right, of course. Right, That's yeah. the tie-in there. Danny brought Gigi in, and. Um, and we had so much fun in that band. It was, it was just one long party. It seemed like Danny Bevelin. If you're out there listening, you made me laugh so many times in that oh, band. That's, that's a cool thing. He made Gigi literally fall off the drum stool laughing one night. <laughs> what was that place on Fourth Street? Joe Froggers. Oh, Joe Froggers. Oh my God. I remember doing a back. gig there on. Oh, uh, we did a. Um, it was a. Uh, What's that Irish holiday we just had? St. Patrick's Day. We did a St. Patrick's Day gig there at 6 in the morning. 6 a.m. No good Irishman is awake at 6 in the morning. No, this was the beginning of the day for them. All right. We opened the that show. That was the morning stuff. 6 a.m. I've never done a 6 a.m. gig before. So I, think, I think I caught it from the other side, to be honest with you. So, uh, I, don't know if you I don't know if you have a Bang Theory song. You know, do I have a Bang Theory up? I think I do. Yeah, Would you like to hear a Bang we Theory were song? We were in... You were both in Bang Theory, that's yeah, right. We both your band. hands raised at the beginning of this test. That's right. Let's yeah. do Bang Theory. Okay. That's a great idea. Thanks for steering in that direction, because I, I got it ready and waiting right here. What year, Tony? What do you think, Mike? Had to be, what, 85? Four. 84? 84? No, wait, no, no, no. No, Mike, no. No, no. My, kids were, good, my yeah. kids were already born. It had to be like 87 or 88. That was good. Yeah, kids were That's why. See that? That's why we can't remember. What's that drummer's name, Jimmy? That was me at my 
this kid is, uh, you say he has strikes twice too. Bang Theory. That was a Bang interesting time. Yeah, it was. Money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you mention the folks in that? Uh, that was uh, Tony Ray, who played in a band called Miles Long. He's a singer. Uh, he was the lead singer, and they used to play a lot at the TK Mining Company. I like Tony in. Ray. And then Martha. Martha, Martha my dear. On, Martha. on backing vocals, yeah. Dean Rhodes on drums, and Mike on bass. And uh, yeah, we and did about it. it Tony was... Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> we did about <laughs> we did about a year, year and a half, and recorded a couple more demos. But did it ran it its fun. course, ran its course, and then I started a band with uh, Rob Cunningham and uh, yeah. uh, the drummer um, called Hidden Pictures. Hidden Pictures. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah. Was a sh- it was a... Y- not I, a have a, I have a video up for Hidden Pictures. Would you like to see it? A video? I have something up for Hidden Pictures right here. I don't know how you could. I don't know either, it. but it's marked right there. Do you think I might be wrong? It might be wrong. Should There's we find a good out? chance. Give it it's a, kind of like one of those mystery boxes. It, Shall we open it and see what it looks like? Is that I say video you made. It. Do we? He might yeah. be right. It might be wrong. Okay. It's All right. worth it. It's worth it. Yes. It could be like you open it up and you go, oh my God, it's the grand prize. Okay. Let's go. I'm willing to roll the dice if you are. 
I'm willing to roll the dice. Where did he get the audio track? He may have created a video track for it, but where yeah. did he get the audio track for oh, it? Oh no. Oh no. We shall find out. What do you think it is? I don't know. Hopefully it's not, nothing bad. Darkest hour, huh, oh, boy. Never even heard this one. Are we yeah. up? What a good looking group of fellas. <laughs> Is that keyboard bass? Yeah, it's, I programmed all the keyboards in bass. And it was me and Rob playing guitar. And, uh, Rob's a hell of a guitar player. Uh, yeah, he's great. He plays I with, think he plays with It's a Beautiful yeah, Day he does, now. He does. Or he did, I don't know if he still is. Yeah. Yeah. And Bill right now. You know? Bill right now, I remember him. Yeah. This is one of the least favorite I didn't tell this you're almost there. Is that a good song? That was awesome. Oh, yeah. What year was that, Tony? 90. 19, 1990. 19, 1890. 1890. Feels like it, don't it? <laughs> Way back there before the cassette. Uh, no, so he was asking about that over here, so I appreciate I appreciate that. Uh, William Butler. William Butler. Bill Butler. I know yeah, him. Bill Butler. That's darn right. Bill Butler. Is that the Bill Butler? The Bill Butler. The Bill Butler. No, wait a minute. I only know one Bill Butler, and I know him as Hundred Dollar Bill. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Was that the sound? He's laughing guy, Bill right Butler? now. He's laughing right now. I know. He oh, is. Okay. is that what? 
There was a different Bill Butler, too, a sound company guy. That's who I thought I was talking about. That's who are you I, talking about? Is I, this a different Bill Butler? Different I'm talking Bill about Bill Butler, Butler, the singer for the Tumblers. Oh, well, this is a different Bill the Butler. Bill well, Butler, then, you, then, then you owe me $100, Bill. The Bill Butler you and I know passed away. Oh, no. A long time ago, apparently. I just Seriously? Found out. Yeah. I mean, his son, Jared, of course, I know, who mixed over at the last yes. day for, for many years. I got a great uh, Bill Butler story. We'll, we won't even talk oh, about it. Oh, well, just we'll send, we'll send good chimes and good blessings out to Bill Butler right there. Matter of fact, I've got a little... What? Just keep saying. No, I'll do it later. <laughs> a little toast to Bill Butler right Bill there. Butler, and, yeah. And, yeah, Bill and I have been in the sound business together for many, many he years. He got X-started, by the way. Mm -hmm. Bill Butler did. He had a sound company in Vallejo. No doubt. He was our um, yep. sound company. He was uh, somebody I knew very, very well and hired me for many, 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 many jobs. Paid me $100, thereby right. earning the name $100 Bill. Ah, there you go. My mentor in the business was Phil Salisbury. Yes. Oh, yes. So, uh, sound Expressions. And I so he has the same respect that, that Bill does in my mind. There are mentors in our community for teaching us about sound engineering because there ain't no school for it, really. Nope. Except a tour a band that tours around the country where you figure out by trial and error what's right and wrong and what they knew. All right. Hey, you know what? I'm just enjoying having you guys here. And, and we, I, we need to we need to think about what else we're going to cover in this in this community that we have. And, and uh, I know I know we're, we're paying special uh, special tribute tonight to Phil Holden. And we are going to play one more exit video video piece for Phil on our way out, but I feel I feel like I, I need to get something off my chest. Go for it, Randy. You know it's live, it's raw, it's got Harry Gale in it. You know, <laughs> and that's that's enough for me. That's enough for me. So let me let me touch on one more video piece. Then we're going to come back and regroup ourselves, carry on with a little Phil Holden tribute on our way out. But right now I got I got to, I got to hit you with I got to hit you with. Come on, where are you? Broken Ties. I know you people out there right now are going, I remember Broken Ties. I saw them. Where? God, where? At the Phoenix Theater? By the way, before I even do this, I made a special note, some special shout outs tonight. Number one, to the Phoenix Theater, Tom Gaffey. Mm -hmm. Support, supporting live rock and roll in this county We've for 20, 30 there. years. How many times have you played at the Phoenix Theater? A lot of times. A lot, a lot of times. Why? Because you played rock and roll. Yeah. And as much X, as somebody... X owned that place for a while. There you go. And there you go. And your toys bottom. There you go. <laughs> That's true. And, and as much as I spent all, most of my time, 16 years, over the Mystic Theater, the Phoenix did rock and roll like nobody else did in this county. On the other hand... Yeah, it's a good time. I assume shout-outs right now to Scott and Shelly Gorey. Oh, yeah. Magnolias. Magnolias. Uh, Magnolias. I have done. So Come many on, man. at Magnolia's. How many? I don't know. How many mixes? I worked there for three years. I played on the Magnolia stage right. in nine different bands. You see? Nine. Any of the Battle of the Bands while you were there? Uh, no, I didn't play okay, the Battle of the Bands. Okay. It didn't matter. They were all cover bands anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 la and, lastly, and lastly, Jerry Knight at the River Theater for giving the same people the I same like break. That place. You know, Jerry Jerry invited the community in to play things that people couldn't play in other places, much yeah. like the Phoenix Theater. Uh, a lot of props to all those places that gave everybody an equal opportunity to play, especially the youngsters coming up, thrashing their guitars rather loudly mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and learning I how to... I think Nirvana played there, didn't they? Uh, I don't know. I know. I mixed, Mr. Bungle played there. I, I mixed Green Day at Magnolia's. Yeah. Well, really? I mixed Y and T at Greg at oh, wow. yeah. Broke the window, by the way. They actually shattered the window behind that the mixing sounds booth. Sounds about right. Yeah, Y and T. Bless mm. your heart, Dave Medicetti. Worked through many years at the Mystic the Theater as well. The only surviving member. Tiger. Oh, tiger. <laughs> well, you My know what? Tiger. That is that. Ready to strike. Well, that that is the perfect. Absolute perfect segue into, into what <laughs> is to what we're leading in here with. If with, anybody's still watching, with, of course they are. <laughs> They're waiting for this. This is this is broken ties, man. Hold on, scream here. Give me a rock and roll scream. Yeah. Get 
I'm trying to remember the singers, man. Anybody out there? Jeff Jones. Jeff. He's cool, man. Isn't he? Yeah. He's sad. 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 Nice. Is it G I L E S? G I L E S. the longest running ever tiny house live show i think you know we're we are not limited by time and space no that's a good one or, or the fcc time tiny house long tiny house long that's us tonight hey it's a good thing by the way where where is more where am i tiny <laughs> house live oh I was wondering. Hey, I, nice. I don't. I don't want to drag it out too long, but we're not. Uh, I'd like. Did uh, do you have a chance to do uh, the Romeo Jones, uh, the Checkmate Serenade? Did I get that one in yeah, here tonight? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. That's a no, good one. I didn't. There were there were a few that I really wanted to because I, I That's knew they would be. This got to be a part two. I remember Romeo Jones too, and I know we worked together at. at it was, must have been Magnolias. I, I, uh, I, it's kind of the only place I threw rock stuff. Is that Jim Hicks? No, that was Jim Hicks, yeah. Gary Stipe, and uh, Chris Kiefer, the first drummer, and then Chris Kiefer. The yeah. second drummer was Tommy Palmer, who was the drummer for Strikes Twice. With Larry Holiday and uh, uh, Martin Stansberry, and yeah. well, we're getting a, we a got mention. a lot of bands. We got a mention. I'm Our, telling you, we we we've covered some history tonight. I know we, we really have. And, 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 we have a lot we haven't covered, and I know there's a lot that we haven't covered. Yeah. So so we can we can we can think about regrouping and and, and kind of carrying on. And and, and I, I would I would invite that. As much as I'm going to say right now that I think I think let's 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 point to one of our our our, our reasons we even came together tonight, yeah. and, uh, and and you know and, and going through all this material with Electric Toys and and Phil Holden and 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 you two, um, I just kind of got really attached to a song. You know, for me as an engineer, when I when I walk away and, and it's still with me, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm at the grocery store at Oliver's buying some vegetables, and I'm mm -hmm. going, wait a minute. I got the song in my head. It's still there. So that mm -hmm. obviously means something to me. So that's what I kind of picked up this last one. Put some video, put some pictures, photos together that you guys. And mm -hmm. once again, before we actually close out the show, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for, for, for all the input you did. Because, yeah, I had a lot of stuff to piece together to try to bring some continuity to it. But each of you dug deep in this and going through your videos and, and your, your continuity of your timelines and, and uh, the video and the photos you gave me to put this together. And uh, I think it means a lot to the people out there in this community, at least 
least we have a, a signpost as we can look at and say, yeah, see, we talked about this. This is who, what happened. This, and I think that's really important. So yeah. archiving our history is really big to me. Uh, and, and as we can go through and cut any little segments out of this and use them any way we can, it's it's all really good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's been surprising me playing in so many bands over 35 years. 40. Yeah. <laughs> He's counting. Uh, how interconnected! <laughs> how interconnected! So many of the bands are with different ma- members yeah. of other bands, yeah. and, and it just blows me away that there is a uh, connection that goes yeah. through. I wanted yeah. to. I wanted to make one point about yeah, the yeah, Sonoma yeah. County connection. There's a really deep love of music in Sonoma County, and. Uh, I mean, I know people all over the country and parts of the world and stuff, but Sonoma County, for some reason, has this incredible resume yeah. of talent. It does. A lot of guys came out of Sonoma County that went on to really big things. Yeah, yeah. And um, and a lot of different forms of music, too. Rock, well, bluegrass, yeah. I mean, name it. Yeah, so, yeah. country, yeah. rock, whatever. But I'm just saying, that for some reason, whatever reason, Sonoma County launched and continues to put out good music. Well, that's what we hope for in the coming year, because obviously for us right now, we have to refine our balance. We have to figure out where can we go do what we do. Uh, and as we fall back into normalcy of, uh-huh. of club life, which I look forward to. Hey, no, uh, no, me and him might be doing something. In the I'd future. love to hear you, man. You yeah, can, he's got some interesting material. He's we, always got interesting material. We, uh, we, we did a little thing oh, over stop it. Stop it. We, did, <laughs> <laughs> we had a little moment over at our studio. There you go. And. Uh, it's, it's good stuff. I, I like it. Well, as we move into the future, because we spend so much time in the past tonight, know, know that as you move forward, contact me. If, you, if, there's, if I can connect you up for, you know, I got, I got the year at the Redwood Cafe. I don't do booking, but but we certainly have a fun time in there doing some shows. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting some cameras back up in there and getting bands live and getting between the, the yeah. people around me. So we all, we're all looking yeah, forward I to that. This COVID uh, thing. Who's hard to say when yet? You know, we're hoping for a, this this summer, you know, late summer. You know, who knows? You know, so. it's, it's to keep positive. Stay healthy and yeah. do that, uh, yeah. and uh, and let's 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 dig back and go. Let's, let's take a look at this uh, last Phil Holden piece with Electric Toys. Then we'll come back and 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 say our. Uh, oh, okay. oh, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to just point out that this last song is. Oh, that's uh, right. Uh, Electric Toys 2.0 right. uh, with the new band members Jerry Fox on drums and Gordy Barnes on guitar, Keith Bender on keyboards, and Dave Payne and Phil Holden. So it's a lot different and more modern than the original well, Electric Toys, but modern for the day. Yeah, for the day. And it sounds dated now, but yeah, it's a good song. I think it's a great song, and I've had it in my head for weeks. Oh, it's really catchy, like, like Phil Holden's songs. You know, always is were. this actually a straight Phil Holden song? Would you call this a Phil Holden yeah. song? Of course. Yes. Well, then yes. even better, even rest better. in peace, Phil Holden. Yes. Whatever yes. you rest are, uh, I've got, I've got one. You got one. I got, you got one. No, I got one. I grab one. Anything? Yeah, water will do this time of night. Yeah. There you go. To Phil Holden. Phil Holden. There to you Phil go. Phil Holden, brothers. everybody. Yep, yep. And rock and roll in Sonoma County. Darn right. Keep it up. I'll keep putting cameras on it. People keep making it sound louder. <laughs> That's turn, the way it goes. Turn it up. Turn Here it comes. We'll turn it up right now. Turn up my monitor. Turn it up right now. Come on, turn it up because we got we got electric energy. Electric force. Phil Holder. Thank you, everybody.
Electric energy. Electric energy. Electric energy. Electric energy. This is right out of high school. Dr. Pepper Breath. Right out of high school. We played my, that was the first gig. Are we back on? At Montgomery High. Well, that was wonderful. Man, that was a flashback. That was a slice of life. We were admiring those photographs. It was just like, wow. we were We were having fun watching you admiring can, the photographs. Can you believe how good looking you guys were? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What happened to us all? Uh, we got old. Oh, well. well. What are, you you gonna do? what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, my oh, wife that. still likes me, so well, that's that's, that's the main something. thing right there. Otherwise, you end up in a tiny house <laughs> <laughs> like this guy. <laughs> Who where my friend? where are we? Where are we? Oh my God! <laughs> are we happy? Oh, we are happy. Darn right, we're happy. You feel good? You got you yeah. got a little off your chest tonight. I, I think we're all right. I'm, I'm glad we got to touch on I as much too. as we did. I am too. I am too. You know, I, thank I, you everybody for being here. Absolutely. And, and hanging in with us, old guys. That and, means a lot to us. It means a lot to us. And the history of Sonoma County is what we're talking about Sonoma here. Sonoma County, so. and yep. here's the Phil Holden. Yep, yep, yep. Absolutely. Big old cheers as we as we uh, we wave our way out of here. I'll play my little. Uh, Wisteria as I show people my lovely floral nature. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Tiny house live.